Chapter Three of the College Freshmen's Don't Book. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Greg Giordano. The College Freshmen's Don't Book by George Fullerton Evans. Chapter Three as to dress don't wear your prep school hat band or flash your high school fraternity pin upon your almost manly chest these are stock idiosyncrasies of the freshmen just remember that school fashions do not prevail at college don't dress too sporty during the first term the effects you try to imitate at this period of the game are apt to be only the superficial and amusing ones. Don't wear long hair. Hair, if left to grow as it listeth, may attain to a surprising length within a single season. The freshman year is not the time to test the accuracy of this statement. Wait till you are a sophomore, then you won't care to. Remember that long hair is the poet's privilege, though not always proof of a poet. To wear long hair, you had better take out a poet's license. In this respect, a dog license will do if you fail to qualify as poet. Don't feel it incumbent upon you to wear a beard or a mustache. If you happen to have raised one on the farm or in England during the summer. Whiskers are the plus sign of masculinity. Upperclassmen do not appreciate them in freshmen. Don't wear too much jewelry as an over amount of it suggests trips to places where they loan money. Don't affect stick pins bearing large horses' heads or horseshoes, thinking these will demonstrate that you keep a gig. The horsey ornament connotes the coachman's white tie and the odor of the stable. Don't carry a cane in your freshman year. Something is very likely to happen to it. Don't be found displaying a tall hat. A tall hat is a mighty nice thing for sister's wedding at home, but better leave it there. Its dignity is liable to fade, like the glory that was Greece and the grandeur that was Rome. It was only because those nations got too chesty, you remember, that the vandals of old worried them. Don't think that crazy or odd clothes are necessarily college clothes. Lots of college men do wear crazy clothes. But it isn't so much because they're college men as because they're crazy. Don't forget to dress neatly and up to your own means. You owe it to yourself to dress as well as you can. I don't mean that owing this to yourself should necessitate your continually owing something to your tailor. You do not owe it to yourself to owe anybody. End of chapter 3 Recording by Greg Giordano, Newport Ritchie, Florida.